it's lovely to see you. Um, I'm Vanessa and this is Narrowboat Alice Grace and this channel is called The Mindful Narrowboat. So thank you so much for tuning in. I just want to say a big thank you to John Dolan, one of my really loyal viewers who has done a lot of work in promoting my channel and as a result more of you hopefully are watching. So thank you so much John, I really appreciate it. So last week um, I was frozen in to the canal and so we couldn't move to get water and we couldn't move to get fuel and gas and coal and all the things that we were running low on. So eventually the canal started to defrost so we thought it was safe to move and we decided that we would travel up to see the fuel boat. And the fuel boat was near Slapton. We needed to get water and we needed to pump out the toilet first, so that took some time. And um, my goodness, I forgot how exhausting it is to cruise. It's lovely to cruise, um, but it's tiring. And even though we just had to do eight locks there and eight locks back, um, it took us uh, two days because um, we had to stop in the middle. So eventually we came across Jules Fuels. So Jules Fuels were just below Ivinghoe Bottom Lock. And then we just had the small problem of trying to turn a big boat 60 foot in a very narrow canal. And so we had to travel all the way to Slapton to the winding hole in order to turn our boat. So we have our resources and now we can, we're back in the same mooring spot and we can rest for a while and know that we're not going to run out of anything. On the way to the fuel boat we discovered the old lock gates so if you watched my vlog last week frozen you'll see that I walked down to where they were repairing the lock and the gates and the old lock gates are absolutely covered it's up really stank as well it was really bad but I had to film it they're covered in mussels and um, now I've done a bit of reading and I've discovered that we have six native species of freshwater mussel in this country and uh, one of which is a swan mussel, which can grow up to 30 centimetres in length. But all of the native mussels, apparently they eat the um, algae and then they release um, good things back into the water. And then there's the two non-native species, zebra mussels and quagga mussels, which eat plankton from the freshwater and release back toxins into the water. 
I'm not sure which type were clinging to the old Ivanhoe locks. If you do, please can you let me know in the comments? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, please let me know what you think those muscles, the type of muscles they are. I'm just really interested. Now, I have had a week off work, which has been lovely because I had to work all over Christmas as well. I'll do another vlog, maybe another time about the work I do um, uh, with teaching. And so I have put that to good use because I have done some lovely walks and I have been looking for things. I don't normally go out and look for things in particular, but I, uh, have, I'm following websites, uh, local websites, and um, I have discovered that people have seen Bitten and people have also seen a Marsh Harrier. So I have been really keen this week on my walks of Zephyr to actually look for those things. But please let me know if you think that that was a potential marsh harrier in the tree uh, but I think it's a pale buzzard but I'm not an expert. So also I decided I would walk the old Wendover Arms. It's a long walk, it's about a seven mile walk in round trip for us and I walked down the old Wendover Arm which is so beautiful. <laughs> And it was here that I discovered, and even though they're common, I can't believe they're common because I've never seen them, um, I discovered the little grebe. I've seen the great crested grebe, but I discovered the little grebe, which is smaller than a moorhen. And um, they were behaving, there was a pair of them, behaving in such an interesting way. I just lost moments. So I have decided to give you part of that film as well.
and then I continued the walk on to the very end of the old Wendover arm. If you watch my vlogs you'll know that um, I do a mindful cruise at the end, I try to have something relaxing for you or a mindful walk and my nature journal. So I have got this week, it's the mindful cruise where we leave um, this morning and we go to get water and pump out our toilet, uh, don't worry I don't show you those bits. And next week I will show you the journey that we made where we did part two trying to find the fuel boat because I've saved them up because obviously now I'm not going to be able to move for until we run out of um, resources again. So sit back, relax and please enjoy this cruise and don't forget to stay tuned because you get to see what I've written in my journal um, this week. Look after yourself, take care and please come and join me next week. Bye! Small beak, big fish, a dinner dance afloat. Open beak, fish dish, slips slowly down your throat. Head down, tail up, a ripple left on top. Tail down, head up, with another fish you plop. Dab chick, so quick, swimming spinning speeds. Dash quick, tail a flick, then gone among the reeds.